Okay, where are we? We finally made it to the giant tree. And who is this little lassie? Or is that a guy? I'm Leon of the Pearl Clan, the Warden to Cleaver, Lord of the Woods. What the heck are you talking about? And you, I've already deduced that you're, you come here to meet Cleaver. I'm right, aren't I? Of course I am, I can see it so clearly. After all, the powerfully awesome Cleaver has become even more awesomely powerful. Perhaps that strange lightning the other day was Almighty Sinnoh's divine power. But whatever it was, it struck my lord and left him imbued with awesome might. So I must turn you away, even if it pains me. It's too dangerous for you to meet Cleaver right now. And that's that then, if you say so. Truly? You mean to simply give up? Is your passion for Cleaver so paltry? I just, when someone says no, I, I, I take the no. I'm not gonna push your buttons. I'm afraid your passion is not the real issue here. I've been told in no uncertain terms by Iridia that I am to let no one near Cleaver. I will fight you off myself if you insist. If you wish to avoid battle, withdraw now while he still can, or face the wrath of my Gumi. Um, I'll still take you on. You don't even realize I'm turning you away for your own safety, how sad you are. Go, Gumi, and see if you can ooze some good sense over this foolish troublemaker. That guy looks like he's straight out of Splatoon. Right, maybe I should have healed first. Nah, we got this, we got this. Start with this strong old thunder thing. Buzz. Well, I was hoping that we would have maybe paralyzed him, but we didn't. Maybe the thunder shock will. Buzz. Oh, that did even less. Oh wait, I think he's a grass Pokemon. I don't think Electric's doing anything. Um, so if he's grass, we need to hit him with some fire. I'm gonna fire this Ember him up. Gumi is a dragon Pokemon? What? What does that even mean? What type of Pokemon is a dragon? I fainted? Bruh. Alright, maybe we just gotta be normal. I don't know the types of Pokemon that are strong against others. I know some of them, but I don't know all of them. I don't know dragon Pokemon. Okay. At least that centralized some of the EXP that we got. How can this be? Because you're wearing a skirt. I may have been defeated, but my point still stands. It's too dangerous to meet Cleaver now. The only welcome you'll get is if you approach him in a flurry of devastating blows. Normally, I'd simply try making him an offering. A nice heaped helping of his two favorite foods, served up with respect by his loyal warden. That's me, of course. It's usually enough to please him and soothe the prickliest of moods. But even I, Cleaver's loyal warden, can't get close enough to give any offerings now. Not with the way Cleaver is rampaging and running amok. There's nothing that an outsider like you can do. Wait, where'd she come from? The ancestors of Cleaver, Wordier, and their cohort drew on Almighty Sinnoh's own power to protect Pokemon and people alike, so it said, It's by the grace that our clan, that any of us, still lives in vast Hisui today. Iridia, what are you doing here? As you say, Cleaver's grown even stronger, but I'm afraid that strength poses a problem for us. If he was indeed struck by that lightning, could the bolts have been sent by the false Sinnoh that the Diamond Clan bows to? Cleaver means so much to our clan. I'd hope we would bring the situation under control ourselves, not throw our hands up and ask some outsider for help. But we must save Cleaver from his frenzy. Every moment it continues, the danger grows. If more people in Pokemon are attacked, it will lead to conflict with both the Diamond Clan and the Galaxy team. And he didn't like hearing that. You stranger from beyond the sky, tell me, could you Galaxy people actually fix this? Could an outsider find a way to quell our lord's frenzy? I'll figure something out. Very well. Lillian and I will gather foods that please Cleavor in hopes that he might be able to get close enough to make him a proper offering. 
As for you, find a way to quell his frenzy, even if you must search for every corner of the vast Asui. Dude, what is she wearing on her wrists? Are this like pool floaties? A mysterious power now enables you to return to base camps in an instant. And just like that, we unlocked fast travel. What a weird time to unlock it. What? <laughs> Why now? Why is everything purple right now? This is like really pretty. These are some giant food dishes. Where's this bear at? Why is the light flickering? Why are all my Pokemon dead? I should probably, I should probably take him home. Let's go back to the field land camps. I think that's the first one. Yeah. Good to see you, Swerf. And how is your research into Cleaver going? Swimmingly, I expect. Oh, is that so? Now that's quite the tidbit. So a servant of his favorite foods will normally make Cleaver quite agreeable, is that it? I need to mold over this, over the back of my laboratory. You should come along too, dear boy. All right, there's the new Pokemon we caught. We get some money for that. That's a decent amount. Oh, did we level up? Did we do it? Oh, I think we're like one experience away. Wow. <laughs> so according to the information, you were able to learn from Iridia and Leon at the Pearl Clan. With this the normal course of events, that frenzied cleaver would be calmed by a nice serving of his two favorite foods. Is it possible that the aromas or some other components of these foods might combine in a way that could only not calm Cleaver, but draw him back from his frenzy? But by your own report, even Cleaver's warden, who looks after Cleaver and knows him well, cannot approach him in the current state. It would be a fool's gambit to get close enough to offer him food. Hmm, give me a moment, if you would. I need some time to ponder on this. There ought to be something in my research notes that can help us. I can't believe they put one of the main characters in a hat like this. Like, what in the world? <laughs> that was a great ponder moment. Eureka! We'll simply have to throw the food. You've got quite the arm for throwing things, haven't you, Swerve? Might I suggest you take Cleaver's favorite foods and throw them at him? Food fight! It's all coming together. We can use our skill in the Pokeball crafting to shape Cleaver's beloved food into balls and throw them to achieve the same common effect, but from afar. A brilliant idea, if I do say so myself. As for what to call these yummy projectiles, well, how about tea time balls? Put one in mind of a nice, relaxing afternoon tea, does it not? He already named it before he even actually created the invention. Why wouldn't you simply call them Laventon Balls, Professor? <laughs> That's what my wife talks about. With that name, it sounds like I'm the one being launched at our frenzied friend. <laughs> In any case, we can rely on the Pearl Clan to gather the necessary foodstuffs, correct? I hope so. Then you should get back to the Grand Tree Arena and let the Pearl Clan know our plan. If you're after Grand Tree Arena, best set out from the Heights Camp, eh? Work with Leon and Iridia to make tea time balls from Cleaver's favorite food. Okay. So that is the next goal. Why wow, we have to come all the way back here to talk about it, though. Alright, bye everyone. Wait, what's going on? My, my, that Galaxy Hall is one fine building, even from the outside. The Galaxy's team certainly got themselves a grand headquarters. I'll give them that. Oh, yes. I came because I have some sort of news that I thought you might be interested in. Better you actually see what's going on though. Let's head to... What did you end up calling it? The Heights Camp? Yeah, that place. Is she taking us straight there? This game forces the narrative super heavy, doesn't it? Where? I spoke to Wydear about what's been going on. I told him how you've been trekking all over the field land, seeking a way to quell Cleaver's frenzy. All this from someone who's not even part of our clan or the Pearl Clan. Just some wanderer who fell through a rift in this world. And hearing that, well, you can see how he responded. I trust you appreciate it. Why, word ears found you worthy, you see. Which means you'll need a flute like we have. Mind demonstrating for him, I? Of course, she has a magnet in her hair.
She's not even moving her fingers. Where? That's a Celestica flute that Mai just played. It's a precious tool that can be used to call upon Wyadir, and you can ride upon him. I love having a mount in this game. Can we name him Epona? It said the Celestica flutes were gifts from Almighty Sinnoh itself, and now this one's yours. A flute that can be used to call special Pokemon that are willing to bear you around the region. Its timber is eerie and mysterious. It's not that grand a gesture, really. I can't play the flute for the life of me. See if you can play that melody. Shoddy like a melody in my head. Na 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 na. Got me singing like. Let my wire deer stuck in replay. Replay. Blah blah blah. I like his little wiggle ears. He opened his heart and learned well the sound of you playing. <laughs> the bot of approval. We got his mind plate. A stone tablet imbued with the essence of psychic energy. When used on a certain Pokemon, it allows the Pokemon to gain the power of a psychic type. Huh? Now, use that Celestica flute wisely and gallop across the land with a great word here. You've got a frenzy Pokemon to quell that Grand Tree Arena, haven't you? With word here, you can gallop across the field lands in no time. Boopity beep boop. Whoa, that came out of nowhere. <laughs> we got him! Woo! Alright, so for a moment, I think it's in my best interest to just continue catching Pokemon. I want to keep leveling up a little bit, because I feel a little bit under-leveled at the moment. Or at least just keep catching Pokemon, too. Got him. What? Do I have to knock him down a few pegs first? All right, weasel. Startle him. All right, perfect. He's too stunned to move. You're mine. Let's look at our Pokedex for a second. Let's see, what do we want to try doing? We can catch more Bidoofs, number of heavy specimens you've caught, number defeated. Yeah, it literally looks like I can catch and defeat like literally any Pokemon and I'll be filling tasks in. So I think I can just go and unmindfully do stuff. I don't think I even need to be mindful about what I catch or collect. Apart from the fact that I need to try to do it as efficiently as possible. So like... What? Bruh. I'm playing with these Geos. I am playing with your Geos. I'm revving up so y'all better get this party started. Dude. And I was like, dude. And she was like, dude. And I was like, dude? Like, dude. Oh, let's see how this goes. How much do I need to lower the HP to, like, catch them? I don't think too much, do we? Like under half is good for these low levels. That gets us a decent amount of experience. I'm not really sure what I'm aiming for experience wise. I feel like getting all my Pokemon at least to like level 17. Wait, which one was my starter? Was it my my Luxio, my my or Shinx? He was the starter, correct? Oh, that's a KO right there. Ouch. Wait, it was Cyndaquil? Oh, it's actually kind of surprising. They both died. 
Ooh. We're getting that EXP though, I'll tell you what. Just fighting all the dudes. Wait, where? I did not mean to throw this guy out. Not the mud slap. And he's obscured. You better not miss this. Okay, I'll just catch it next. Dude, I feel like we need to replace the Pichu in the group. We'll have to see her options. Wait, so I think this guy liked cherry berries. So let's try it real fast. He didn't fall for it? Damn. I'm almost positive if I remember correctly. Ooh. There was a section or here we go here it is okay so flying electric is strong against flying and ice is strong against flying and flying is strong against grass and fighting and bug so sphinx works for this oh maybe a bit too strong my bad i mean we gotta kill them too I think we have to catch and defeat. We're on a freaking rampage if you think about it. Let's fight this hoe. Not getting away. I'm gonna bite him. Let's bite his little ladybug head off. Oh, he's dead, dead. I feel like grinding is a really important aspect of this game, right? Like, you're supposed to just take these moments out of your time and just catch Pokemon and level up all your stuff. Or you guys Pokemon players that just stick to the goals at all times and just level up through that. It doesn't feel like grindy though. I will say that, like it's fun enough to not feel like a grind. You wanna fight your older brother? Well this guy's really low level. It's probably not even worth it. Let's go back. The area is too simple. Alright, let's go back up to the campsite and then reheal ourselves. We go buy more Pokeballs too. What is that? A peppa plant? A peppa plant. It's your everyone's favorite peppa pig. Oh yes, that's your older sister. That's right. Why do I keep on forgetting the gender of my Pokemon? I wish there was ways to tell them apart, apart from the little boy or girl icon. Like I wish they, you could like dress them up or something so you could like easily tell. Having just to just remember is hard work when there's no like indicator physically on them. They need to start giving the Pokemon large dicks so I can know if it's a guy or not. Luxio does, her hair is shorter. Oh, nice. That's actually kind of cool. I wouldn't know because I haven't seen the boy version. <laughs> is that common for Pokemon, for the male and female to have different physical traits? I feel like we leveled up a lot just now. Who is this guy again? He's the one who was selling us something. No, he was talking about... I forget. <laughs> Have you heard of the rare ability to dash over hill and vale on the back of a Pokemon? Yes. Well, why do you not try a hand at the balloon race? It's a game I invented myself. It's simple, really. You just need to burst as many balloons as possible while riding a Pokemon. Mini game? Let's do it. Kind of sounds fun. Let's do it up. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> These are kind of cute balloons. Is this supposed to be hard? Maybe if you hadn't played a lot of Legend of Zelda and gotten used to riding Epona, maybe. <laughs> Oh no, where'd they go? Oh, there they are. Go! Got him, we're doing good. Oh no, I missed one. It's okay. 
Fires 19 balloons. Not bad, not bad at all for someone so skilled to offer this as a reward. Eight more Pokeballs. And rare candy and a feather ball. This race is the easiest, lol. Let's see if you have what it takes to challenge them all and raise your skills to the next level. Let's see. Let's let's use a rest first. Get ourselves feeling all pepped up. Let's see our Pokemon. Do we want to rearrange anything? Flying Sorry, Let's see. We have Fire, Rock, Rock, Dark, Flying, Electric, Dark, Electric, Normal. I don't think we need Pichu. Unfortunately, maybe Cascoon. He's a bug, steel, and poison. So I feel like that would be a kind of unique options. Or maybe not nah, Geodude doesn't really bring much to the table. Wait, do we have any grass moves? We don't have any grass Pokemon. Maybe a Cricketot? What's the highest level Geodude I have? He has ground. Oh, yeah, let's get a ground move in here. Okay, he's super low though, which kind of sucks. Can we buy the Pokeballs? Cool. Let's spend all of our money. We can make some too, can't we? I can make three. We need... It's weird that we need Apricorns to make them. Ah. Alright, let's keep on searching for the Mons. Whoa, look at the volcano. I totally forgot I had like a storm at the top. Dope. So hard not to fight everything. But I'm supposed to, as far as I'm concerned. If I was running straight to the objectives, I feel like I would get crushed by whatever comes next. Whoa, Sin City can evolve. But my, he's, such, he's such a baby. I don't want to evolve a baby. That wouldn't be very kind. Ow. Did I just get hit? <laughs> I think I did. Dashing on my deer and a one horse open deer. Over the hills we deer, laughing all the deer, 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 deer. Um, can I fight this guy? Dare I try? He's a normal type, so things could go very wrong. It's a risk I'm willing to take. Yes, my pretty. Yes, my pretty. Ew, he looks kind of weird. Why do you look like a sausage? Quillava? I don't know if I like that. I don't think I do. He looks naked. Look at how long he is. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, he used a water move on him, didn't he? Ooh. Uh, maybe Luxio. See how a Thundershock does? Okay, that's good. That's good. Ouch. Thundershock him again. Do I catch him next? Oh, no. Bring out the bird. The bird is the word. You forgot to feed him trees, didn't you? Yeah, now he's angry about it. Can I catch him? Is the HP low enough? This guy seems worth it. He's a big chungus. No! Bird. Oh, that's not good. Bird or weak to ice. You would never hurt your own kind. Look at her. She's so cute. I don't think anything I have will help help me catch it apart from just throwing a catch. Damn it! Oh now he's pissed. Oh no. Damn. Okay, I should probably just kill him, huh? At this point, I should probably take him out. 
Not sure why the Pokeballs aren't working correctly. Hopefully a quick attack can do the job. He avoided it. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. This is not good. I think I should try to run away. We gotta get out of here. That was terrible. Someone in soon Life is feeling pretty lonely without them in the room